The Canela de la Guideca has been closed by the police. That's because of Franca and other protesters. It's a game of cat and mouse. They're protesting the large cruise ships that pass through the lagoon several times a week. The activists want to stop them from using this route through the city. It's David versus Goliath. Julio has organized the protests. He's been fighting cruise ship tourism in Venice for years. Sure, the city depends on tourism. Some people would even sell their own mother. It's all about making money. But only a few at the top profit from cruise ships. Small shops, restaurants and cafes earn very little on cruise ship tourism. Liners carry about 5,000 day tourists who mostly don't shop or eat out. The only thing Venetians get from this kind of tourism is dirt and pollution. The biggest problem is the invisible currents that the cruise liners generate. Venice has always attracted sightseers. Hordes of tourists come to experience peaceful canals and narrow alleyways. Souvenir shops multiply while the number of locals is dwindling. 58,000 residents and just as many tourists fill the city every day. Matteo is one of the last true Venetians. Every day, he and his wife witness how the city is changing. It's already been opened. This used to be a supermarket. And now it's a gambling den operated by Chinese. Infrastructure for daily life is vanishing. This is one of the two remaining furniture shops left in Venice. This is where Venetians can actually go and purchase furniture, otherwise you have to look outside Venice. Only two shops left. According to Matteo, Venice is turning into an amusement park. Venice land. Two years ago, Matteo and other Venetians picked up on this slogan and protested, dressed up as Mickey Mouse and other cartoon images. But like most Venetians, Matteo also lives on tourism. He operates two hotels in the city. How does that fit in with his protest? Venice is a paradox. Sure, we live from tourists, but, and that's what's ironic, they're contributing to what's driving us out of the city. Franca and her fellow campaigners are back from the protest. Many of them will be facing a charge, but they don't mind. So many people participated in two different forms of protest, in the morning and at night, on land and on water. It shows that a lot of people want things to change. But while the protesters are celebrating, a few hundred meters away, another cruise liner is passing through the canal, with four hours delay, but still unhindered. <laughs> 